Plant. It wasn't easy. I'm not that good with electricity, but I think I found the transformer. I could show it to you. Apparently, you just have to cut the current there to remove the security breaker from the train. Thanks to you, we should be able to pull off this escape when the time comes. All we have to do is get into the power plant. Thanks. I tried my best. You did the job. That is, should come with me now. We got lots of things to do if we want to pull this escape off. I'll do my best to help you. We have to pick up the weapons I stashed, get some water, and get the mutants to revolt. The mutants? What for? It'll be a great diversion. So, if you're ready, let's go. What can I do for you, prisoner? If I understood right, a mutant attacked a guard. What happened? Just a mutant going a bit haywire. Maybe he got the dog sickness. Who knows? He hit a guard and he's been hiding since. Our technomancer didn't like that too much. He said whichever of us nails him will get a promotion. And it wouldn't be a good idea for the other skin jobs to hide him. I know our technomancer. He said he'd kill ten if we didn't find the guy. And he'll do it. Seems a bit drastic, don't you think? Better off not having a riot. I'm gonna take a look at the dust, in case I happen to find that smartass of yours. Don't particularly want to find myself in the middle of a new war. Yeah, you do that. Uh, but if you find him, don't try anything. Come back and talk to me first. We cleaned out the drilling well, and I'm kind of bored. Apparently the guys who work at the cistern have it easy. You haven't been here long enough. Till now, only prisoners who've been here a long time get to work there. Jay over there is the guy who picks the team. One of the first guys here. I'm kind of bored. You got any work for me? Huh? You can hear the mechanic bitching from here. Guess he might be needing a hand. Find parts or something like that. And where does he work? No idea. He just does his thing, wherever. Most of the time, you just follow his voice. That guy's never happy. I'll try to find him. See ya. Right. Right. Why do I have the feeling that there are better uses for a rebel mutant than turning him into the guard?
What do you want with me, man? I heard the announcement. I know that one of you attacked a guard. Tell me a little bit more about him. He is but one dust among many. He could no longer bear the abuse we receive, and he acted impulsively. But he acted as he saw just. I didn't realize they... Wow, he speaks really well for a dust. You know if he doesn't turn himself in, ten of your people will be executed. We are prepared to die if the sacrifice will improve the conditions of our people's lives. Tell me a little bit more about him. He is but one dust among... I didn't realize... They treat you that bad? We're beasts, but we don't deserve the manner of treatment we receive. Even the dogs get more respect here. The prisoners avenge themselves on us. The guards mistreat us for amusement, and we could say nothing. It is not possible to continue this way. You're the one who hit the guard, huh? Why are you asking? Just tell me the truth. You don't want to piss me off, believe me. Do you really think so? I have nothing to lose. I suppose there is no longer a reason to hide the fact. What will you do with this knowledge, man? You want a better life here? I want a better life somewhere else. I suggest we put aside our differences and work together. In what manner, man? I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before the situation becomes really explosive between the guards and the dust. Especially after your little outburst. The abuse we suffer is abominable. I acted through anger, and yet I believe it was truly just. I'm not judging you, so save your excuses. I'm just asking for a little time. Don't start anything until you get my signal. I'm preparing something as well, and our two plans will work a lot better if we're coordinated. <sighs> you yourself have raised a hand against the dust. What guarantee have we that you are not attempting to ensnare us? Test me. So be it. We have need of cutting tools, man. Each workshop in this camp has a toolbox which it is forbidden to touch. Bring us two of these boxes. By helping us, you shall prove your good faith. Deal. I'll bring you the tools and... You keep cool until you get my signal. That is the agreement.
We never had the chance to talk. I heard about Fatso. That took some balls, man. Apparently the guy pissed himself. I'm Jay. If I can, uh, do anything for you? I'm Roy. Tell me, Jay. You know if there's a way to get to the cistern? The cistern, huh? Are you thinking of something? Are you looking to stock up on water? Let's just say it's a hypothetical question. Well then, hypothetically speaking, I'll tell you. If somebody, who is not you, of course, wanted to enter the cistern, he'd need an official pass from the boss himself, or he'd get shot two yards from the entrance. And if this person wanted to go there unofficially? Well, then there's only one way. Go across the mushroom field and walk through a pack of those fucking moles. Take some balls. Of course, to do that, he'd also need a key, the kind that only the guards at the sentry post have, seeing as how the entrance has been sealed since the infestation. So that person would have to find an understanding guard, like Bob, for example. Thanks for the tips. All purely hypothetical, of course. Gotta go. See ya. What do you want with me, man? I held up my end of the deal. Here are your tools. Thank you, man. We will respect our agreement. You have aided our cause, and we will aid yours by waiting for your signal. Perfect. Continue to get ready. Won't be long. When everything on our side's in place, I'll let you know and you can start your riot. I would never have thought of organizing a dust revolt. I never gave them a second thought. I didn't realize they had a sense of injustice like ours. Whatever you think of them, you gotta remember that even a dog can turn on its master. And the dusts are a lot closer to us. I see that now. I never even bothered to try to talk to one before. I feel kind of ashamed. <laughs> 